Welcome to a new video on the Geek and Noise channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this. It's the Western Digital Black D10 game drive. Now it comes in all different capacities. It's got a really nice design to it as well. And this particular one gives you 12 terabytes. Yep, 12 terabytes of storage. Now it works with your games console, but it also works with Windows PC and Mac as well. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so I've now got the Western Digital Black D10 game drive plugged into my MacBook Pro. But before I do the speed test, I just wanted to show you the packaging. Again, this just uh, shows you that this is the 12 terabyte model. They quote up to 250 megabytes per second performance. It's branded up Xbox One because uh, I think its target market is obviously to be connected for uh, game storage with your Xbox One, Xbox One X console. Uh, but you can obviously plug it into other things, including something like a Windows PC, or as I've got here, I've got it plugged into my MacBook Pro. Of note, it also says here on this sticker, you get three months free of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So it's a nice little bonus. Uh, round on the back of the packaging, it just details the connections on the back of the drive, which we'll, we'll take a look at uh, very shortly. So, We've got this plugged in. I'm using Blackmagic Design's disk speed test software. We're going to select the Western Digital Black Drive as the target drive and click start and just see what the performance is like. So we're getting 198, 210, 211 megabytes per second on the write speed. And on the read speed, we're peaking at around about 229 megabytes per second. We'll let it run a second time, because sometimes it gets a little bit faster on the second run. So 227.7 .7 on the right and 246.5 on the read. So not far off from the manufacturer's quoted speeds. So let's click stop and we will quit the software and eject the drive. I want to give you a look at just the connections on the back and the overall design of the drive. So we'll just wait for this to power down and we will disconnect this from the MacBook Pro, like so. And we will also disconnect the cables from the back of the drive. So you do get a little stand included inside the box. Of note, the stand is a different color, so it is white. Uh, the main color of the drive here, as you can see, is black. This does come off, but it seems to be clipped on quite tightly at the moment. So this is what the drive looks like. Uh, we've got a combination of white and black colors, as you can see. Western Digital Black written on the side. This is a plastic case, it's not metal, but it's nicely constructed. And then round on the back, we've got some connections. We've got the input for the power, and I can see that this was a very tight connection because it's slightly off center, uh, but it still works fine. We've also got the USB 3 connection here, and then we've got two seven and a half watt charging ports. That's really nice that we've got these. You can charge something like a mouse, for example, and your smartphone. And then we've also got some uh, vents here with a little tiny fan and more vents for heat dissipation around the top and bottom as well. It's a, a really nice design. It's a great option, option for some mass storage for your games on your Xbox. And also a great option if you want something for some file storage on your Windows PC or your Mac as well. So check out the links down in the video description. I think this is a great drive. There's also a link down in the video description for some purchase options for this, and also a link to the Western Digital website. I can certainly recommend it. It's extremely well made, keenly priced as well, and it's a really high performance drive inside. So thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in another video very, very soon.